One holiday tradition in many Italian homes is the Feast of the Seven Fishes on Christmas Eve. Food Network star Michael Simon is here with his delicious and easy to prepare version of the seafood dinner. Michael, good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. This is one of my favorite traditions there is. I have a, a Sicilian and Greek mother, so we always did the seven fishes growing up. Um, and, and it's just a great way to get together as a family and celebrate. I'd say I've had the pleasure of having this meal a few times in my life. It, it is fantastic. First of all, explain to us the, the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Well, you know, a lot of people say it's the seven sacraments. You know, mm. um, there's all different things. Some people do 13 fish for the 12 apostles and right. then Jesus. So, you know, seven, you can do as many as you want. But it's a, it's a good rustic feast. It's the last day of fast. Usually we would have the big seafood feast go to midnight mass, and then eat prosciutto when we get back. I see. Yeah. <laughs> so, I gotcha. It's a good way to do well, it. Let's get going. What should well, I make first? Linguine and clam. So I have some right. garlic sweating uh, right here in, okay. in some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add some middle neck clams. You're just looking for clams that are closed. Right. When they're open, you know, if they're open before you put them in, no good. Yeah. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of chili flake. Ah, spice it up a little bit. Yeah, it just gives it a little bite, a little mm -hmm. punch and some white wine. Now, you're adding white wine. I mean, you, you don't add the great white wine when you're doing something like this, No, right? no, you save the really great stuff for you, but a nice drinkable wine okay. is good. You don't want the box stuff either, all but right, just right. a good drinkable wine. Cover this up. How long approximately would you cover? And it's gonna take three to five minutes till the clams open. Okay. So I got one going well, right I was gonna ask you now, now the, the traditional rule is if it doesn't open, you know, toss it. If right? it doesn't open, yeah, like, let's see. In here, here we go. Yeah. We got one that didn't pop, All right. so no good. Okay. We're just gonna discard that one. All right. Now to this, in here we have the chilies, the garlic, the oil. Mm, smells great. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. It's an Italian secret, you had butter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And my pasta, we go right from the water, right in. Yeah. Could let some of that pasta water go in there too because, yeah. you know, it adds a little bit of thickness and, yeah. and, and body to the sauce. Al dente, of course. Al dente, how, of course. How long does it take typically to get it? It's just the, the pasta, just the way you want About four minutes. Four minutes. Four or five minutes. You want a little texture, extra virgin oil, a little bit of flat leaf parsley. Uh -huh. And, of course, it is uh, Italian seafood pasta, so no cheese. No cheese. No exactly. cheese. Is that... No, I've heard that in Italian restaurants. It's got dirty looks in Italian restaurants. Yeah, you, uh, you, know, you Italian grandmothers will lose their marbles. Don't do it. Yeah, okay. no, you can't right. do it. And then you just toss this up. You bring it all up. You see that beautiful broth on the bottom, ah, the yeah. oil, the clams. Ooh. Huh? Come on, you smell it? That looks fantastic. There's some magic going on too. in here. It definitely, definitely. Now, again, this is something that I have a little bit more as a main, but I just lay out the food for the whole dinner. I see. But you, you want snacky stuff, too. So... A lot of times, a lot of fried things, uh, smelts, different fish, uh, shrimp in this case. Okay. So we just have some oil, about 350 degrees. And this is called shrimp frito, right? Shrimp what frito. You, what you're making. Yeah. All right. So all-purpose flour and a little bit of cornstarch, which makes it extra crispy. Gotcha. And some salt in there. Give it, a, give it a little whirl. And these uh, shrimp are huge. They are. Th this is a, they call it a 1620, which means there's uh, 16 to a pound. Okay. So this is just, you know. Get the shrimps, shrimps, the shrimps, yeah, that's more than get, one get, shrimp. Get the shrimps, there you go. Uh, does right the size impact the flavor at all? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, is, you could do this with the rock shrimp and they're gonna be a little sweeter and just right. kind of pop size, but I like these size because they're sweet, but they're also, they're substantial, people could grab them, they feel like they're getting something special, Yeah. you know? So it is, it is the holiday time. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, this kind of meal is a rustic meal. You want it to be a little bit more on the rustic side. You don't have to get lobster and shrimp and all these high-end ingredients, you know, cod, uh, a whole roasted snapper, the right. linguine and clams, baked oysters, swordfish, mussels, you know, so you could do it a little bit more on the inexpensive side, well, We were side talking too. about this earlier. Initially, this was a peasant dish. Yeah, right? you know, Italian food in general is peasant food. You know, it's food that you sit around your table with your family, you have a nosh. It doesn't have to be this great, big, expensive feast. Right. So, you know, linguine and clams doesn't cost you a whole lot to put together. How long are you going to cook this shrimp? Just till it's nice golden brown. All right. Look at that. I'm going to put a little bit of the fresh rosemary. It's going to pop just right. a touch right in there because it flavors the oil. That looks delicious. And then these come out. Mm, ready to wow. go. You know, it's not a batter. It's just nice and soft, yeah. nice and crispy. Right on top, a little bit of... Oh, man, I dropped my shrimp. You drop your shrimp? <laughs> Let me have some of that sea salt. Yeah, the five-second rule. It's been seven seconds. We won't show that. So we'll leave, we'll leave it down there. A little bit of sea salt on top. Mm -hmm. You know, some nice sliced lemon. You could even yeah. fry the lemon, too. Can I try one of these? Absolutely. Yeah. Dig in. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm very happy. Happy's good, and you see you get a little bit of that rosemary in there, that nice punch of lemon. It's nice and crunchy on the outside, and it's simple, simple, simple. That is awesome. Again, just one more time around the table. You've got the mussels here, you've got the swordfish here. The uh, baked oysters, right. a little bit of uh, breading on top with some fresh herbs and lemon. Mm -hmm. Linguine and clam sauce, garlic, chilies, extra virgin olive oil, right. flat leaf parsley, whole roasted snapper. Just, you know, put some uh, fresh, Fresh mint, some fresh right. lemon, shallots, garlic. Let me put this over here. Oh, over look here. at this. Scallop, scallop salad. I'm I got to try to pick this up. Scallop salad. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. No, some do beautiful no. bay scallops, sliced radishes, fennel, dill, mm. extra virgin oil. All so, right. again, Italian food, simple, clean, right. delicious. That's what it's all about. Michael Simon, thank you. Good to see you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great Appreciate holiday. It. For these recipes, you can go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.